Hello learners and today we will learn about hygiene. The first question, what do you mean by hygiene? Hygiene we would define as practices that help to ensure cleanliness and good health. Good hygiene helps in preventing diseases. Following are some steps for maintaining proper hygiene. Number 1. We should have a bath daily. It's important to wash hands with soap and water before having food and after going to the toilet. Number 2. We should take proper care of our eyes and ears. Number 3. We must take proper care of our teeth. Number 4. We must take proper care of our hair and keep our fingernails short. And number 5. We must keep our surroundings clean. But now, the question is, why to follow all these rules and regulations? Hello learners and by now you know that if you want to remain healthy, if you want to have a clean body and also if you want to prevent diseases, you got to maintain a proper hygiene. But the question now for you and for me would be, why to follow these 5 rules and I'm sure your teachers, your parents might have told you the same rules to follow. But why these? Let's see the answer. Tiny dust particles stick to your body every day. Example while playing. During hot weather, your body sweats. Sweat causes dust particles to cling to your body. These dust particles can attract germs and cause diseases. Bathing removes dust and sweat and make your body clean. Swell often contains germs. When you come in contact with the soil or the mud while playing, for example, these germs are transferred to your hands. These germs enter your body and cause diseases if you eat anything using dirty hands. Therefore, it's important to wash hands with soap and water. Eyes are very important to us. We should avoid breathing under bad light as it damages the eyes. Is it advisable to wash eyes with cold water frequently? Regular eye tests are also a must. Our ears have a self-cleaning mechanism and normally do not require cleaning. We must avoid poking sharp objects into the ear as this can cause damage. Fingernails should be trimmed regularly. However, this should be done under adult supervision. Teeth must be cleaned or brushed at least twice daily. A special kind of thread called floss is also used for cleaning teeth. Regular flossing remove food particles trapped between the teeth which are hard to remove otherwise. And the most important, your surrounding, including a school and a neighborhood, not just a home. Garbage should not be thrown in the open. Uncovered garbage attracts flies and other disease-causing organisms. Do you know learners, along with maintaining proper hygiene, what else we need to remain healthy? Our body needs rest, yes. Our body needs rest for its proper functioning. So next time, sleep up to 8 to 9 hours per night. Number 2. Exercise Regular exercise helps us stay fit. So next time, go out and play or do yoga if you want. Is a correct posture is important? Because incorrect posture over a long period of time can lead to diseases. And to sum up the whole lesson of today, you need to keep three things in your mind. Number 1. Good hygiene essential for good health and health preventing diseases number two our body needs rest for its proper functioning and last number three regular exercise and correct posture are essential for remaining remaining healthy welcome to my bonus video today our topic is grown up and I'm sure learners, you want to grow up to be an amazing human being. Maybe you want to be a doctor, an engineer, maybe a filmmaker, an actor, a musician, maybe anything else around the world. But it comes down to one word. What does it mean to be a grown up? What should I do? I have created this beautiful poster about a grown up when I was your age, when I was in grade 7, you can see. And let's have a look at this. Now this covers two important questions which we have in our mind as a kid. The when we admire those seniors who work by us, maybe our parents, maybe our teachers, and we think, how can we be like them? How can we uh, act like them and be more wise? It's important to keep in mind at the same time, it's important to learn to embrace your life the way you are.
It's important to learn to embrace who you are and live to the fullest as a, as a kid, as a child. But at the same time, it's good to have uh, you know, goals and have very really inspiration and wishes to become an amazing human being when you grow up. So with this I'm talking about what is to be grown up, there are four key things, key important things that kind of makes you a part of growing up process. And remember, growing up or uh, becoming a, a better version of yourself is a process, not a, a destiny as such. It's a process, like a journey. You move on, you learn, you grow, and that's it. And it's important to learn to cherish as well as enjoy every moment of it. So with this, the first step is about be responsible. You've got to be responsible for what you do. It might be your homework, it might be assessment, anything you're responsible that you are doing it and be careful about it. And number two is choose to do the right thing even when no one is watching you. It's easy to try to impress a teacher, impress your parents to get a candy or something and do some good work. But even when no one is watching, it's important to do the right thing. And you know what the right thing is, isn't it? Yes. And number three is try to learn new everything. Now there's a very curiosity of being a kid. You want to learn, you want to explore. And that curiosity, you must go on growing and feeding it like how you uh, plant and water a plant, isn't it? Yes. You can do that by studying online, you can study now everywhere. I can talk to your parents, have a good conversation with your parents, with the mentors, with the teachers and so on. And lastly, most significant for you is to do extra activity. Maybe you can join a volunteer somewhere and you can learn so much things and plus you can make a new friends as well. And that's about what it means or what is it to grow up but how do you know when you are ready? And this is interesting because you all want to, like when you're small, even when I was small, I wanted to grow up and I wanted to grow up to be an amazing human being. I just uh, look at everybody else and like, wow, that's so amazing. But interestingly, when you grow up a bit older, as people say, you want to be a kid again. So why do they say that? They say that because um, when you are uh, aspiring and wishing for things which you don't have it, um, cannot forget to enjoy what you already have so with this this thing keep in mind uh, try to nurture and love what you have and also work for what you want to be so if you're a person who have who love to think about your future you can you have goals you have target you have planning it is a part of growing up now goals could be as simple as you want to get A's in your exam as simple as that and as I talked about before in the first part of the video, if you're taking good hygiene, take care, maintaining a proper uh, physical maintenance like brushing your teeth, exercise and so on, then you are a part of growing up. And most important is to keep in mind that believe in yourself, believe in abilities and try to give your best and be confident about who you are. And understand growing up doesn't just mean you're physically grown up, it also means that you're mentally and you know who you are. And those very beautiful uh, like posts have made it. I have one more example to show you about growing up, as you can see here. Now I want to give you homework. You can see, I want you to create a poster by yourself uh, for you what it what it means for you to be going growing up and to be grown up and who you aspire for, who's the role model for you, maybe your parents, maybe some kind of people around you or whatever it might be and you can send me the um, homework, the poster you have made in my email id as you can see in the link here or you might also uh, send it to me through my comment section or whichever way you want to send me and do send me and I will let you know how is it and with this keep learning and uh, keep growing up and thank you.